Product not yet rated. Medieval 2 Total War. Combine strategic warfare on an epic scale and spectacular real-time battles fought on massive, realistic battlefields. <laughs> Medieval 2's grand campaign spans five centuries of medieval war and challenges you to take control of one of 17 great kingdoms and lead them to total domination. You will use diplomacy, espionage, trade, religion, and military might. This is an age of darkness. This is total war. Hi, I'm Dan Leftonen, a designer from the Creative Assembly, and I'll be taking you through a video preview of Siege Warfare in Medieval 2 Total War. Mastering the strategy of Siege Warfare will be an important element of your success in Medieval 2's Grand Campaign. Victorious siege battles are crucial to the expansion of your empire as you seek to take enemy provinces on your path to domination. Deploying a spy to infiltrate the enemy settlement is often a wise first step towards seizing that settlement. If successful, he will give you vital information on enemy defences troops and food supplies. You may be able to use this information to starve out your enemy and win a war of attrition. However, by maintaining a siege, you risk the arrival of enemy reinforcements. So carrying out a force assault on the enemy settlement is often the wisest choice of action. Although your armies must be well prepared for such an attack, siege battles are epic affairs fought in and around cities and castles that feature huge defensive walls, covered with archers and soldiers with artillery towers all prepared to repel any attack. Your spy has a chance to open up a settlement's main gate from within. But failing this, your armies must rely on an array of siege weaponry to help breach the walls or smash through the fortified gates. Your armies can raise siege equipment on the battlefield, such as battering rams, ladders, and siege towers. Early on in the campaign, you can also construct artillery to threaten enemy walls, like ballistas, catapults, and later, powerful trebuchet, which can prove effective at penetrating the walls of an enemy stronghold if protected from enemy fire. However, with the discovery of gunpowder, attackers can amass the firepower to overcome even the most formidable defensive walls from a far greater range. Mortars, cannons, and the monster bombard will change the face of your siege warfare. But even with such considerable weapons, the huge castles of the day present a massive challenge to any attacker. Seizing a mighty fortress will mean breaching up to three sets of castle walls whilst under murderous fire. Attackers will have to plan carefully and consider sparing units and siege weaponry for each wave of attack. Meanwhile, defenders must choose whether to forfeit their defences and sally out to do battle in open terrain, or hold their ground whilst choosing the right time to fall back to the protection of the inner wall. Eventually, the attackers must be beaten back and forced into retreat, or the brave defence will come to an end in a bitter, last-ditch battle deep within the castle ground. These tactics and strategies of siege warfare must be mastered if you are to expand your kingdom and hold off any invading enemies at your gates. That concludes our preview of sieges in Medieval 2. Join us again as we continue to examine the strategies of the battlefield and the features of the campaign game in Medieval 2 Total War.